Hey guys, so we are less than two days away from the release of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It's definitely crazy to think about the fact that we're so close to the release. It's uh, kind of feels like it's been a long time in the making, but it really hasn't been that long. Uh, I am very excited to cover this game. We are going to be doing lots and lots of content on this. Uh, the purpose of this video is sort of to be, uh, I guess, almost like a, an introduction to me covering Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on the channel. I've had a lot of people ask me, am I going to be covering the game? How am I going to be covering the game? What, what's my, you know, what, what's my plan for jumping in when the game launches? As you can see, we have one day and 10 hours left until the game releases. So I'm going to go through some of the steps that I've taken to, uh, <laughs> to prepare for the launch here. Obviously, you've seen that I have a PS5. This is actually the reason why I bought a PS5 was to do this. Um, we have the game pre-downloaded. We have it ready to go and ready to. Uh, it's, we're going to be here and streaming the game the second the game goes live. Uh, so the game is actually set to go live at 7 a.m. Japan time (GST). I believe it's on October 8th. So, uh, yeah, we have a very busy day that day. I'm going to be waking up very early, like probably like 5:30 in the morning or something, just to prepare and get ready. We'll be here streaming the game the second it goes live at 7 a.m. Japan time. A lot of people ask me why did I buy the game for PS5, and why did I buy a PS5 specifically for this? And uh, the reason for that is, unfortunately, Sparking Zero is not going to have crossplay, at least initially on launch. It's possible they could add it later down the, down the line, but initially the game is not going to have crossplay, and I would like to play the game uh, on the platform that has the most players, and that is undoubtedly going to be PlayStation. That's historically how these games have always functioned. Um, hopefully down the line we get crossplay, but you know, upon initial launch of the game, it's not going to have crossplay. Um, so I'm excited for this. And uh, so my schedule for this game and covering this game, at least initially, again, like I said, the game launches on uh, the 8th at 7 a.m. my time. So my plan is going to be, I did already put in time off from work. So I have off Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So what we're going to be doing is we are just going to be streaming all day, all three of those days. We're going to be starting at 7 a.m. I'm probably going to want to stream at least 12, 13, 14, 15 hours a day. We'll be streaming all three of those days. Friday, I will be working normally. And then uh, the following week, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday is actually a national holiday here, so we do not work on Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to stream all day, every day. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm not sure if we're going to go all day every day, but we're going to go. We're going to be streaming every day. So. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game and we're going to be putting in some long hours and uh, just enjoying the overall experience here together. But I wanted to show you guys just some of the steps that I've taken and some of the measures that uh, I'm implementing here to um, basically facilitate these very, very long streams. This is not something that I've done before, but I am preparing and I am ready to uh, take this very seriously and I'm excited to play the game. And uh, let's get into some of these uh, some of these exciting things that I've done to uh, prepare for Sparking Zero's release. All right, so like I said, uh, I have been preparing some stuff ahead of time for the long streams. Like I said, probably at least 12 hours per day, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours, something like that I wanna do per day. Experience as much of the game as I can. So uh, we are going to be preparing some stuff ahead of time uh, so that I can keep going and keep energized. So. I bought a bunch of stuff at the grocery store yesterday, like last night actually, like very late, like 11 or 12. The first thing we have are these rice crackers. These are called sembe. It's like uh, salted rice crackers. Pretty, pretty harmless, but it'll help curb hunger. Uh, same thing here. This is a different flavor. This is like, uh, um, like sugar and uh, soy sauce flavor. Then of course we have some bananas. So how many bananas do we have? We have four per, so we have four here. And we have four here, so we have eight bananas in total. Got a bunch of mixed nuts. So four types of nuts, what do we got? We got like cashews, we got uh, walnuts, almonds, stuff like that in there. Then we have some grilled chicken. This is uh, grilled chicken with black pepper. I think it's just like microwavable. Uh, then we have some uh, chicken thigh stuff, so I can make this myself. This I could probably just make this ahead of time, honestly, like a day ahead of time, and just keep it in the refrigerator until I can have it ready. Um, and then we have this. This is another part of the chicken. Uh, it's this way. It's called sunagimo, which is uh, like chicken gizzard, I think is how you call it in English. But um, yeah, this, these are good too. These are microwavable, so 
Um, and then obviously for like like lunch or main meals and stuff like that, I can do like Uber and stuff like that. So uh, I am ready. We have a bunch of stuff here. I opted to go for a bunch of stuff that had just like natural um, energy and then like bananas and nuts. So uh, should be pretty energized and ready to go throughout the day with this stuff over here. So this is going to cover all the food that I would need besides obviously like if I want to order stuff from like Uber Eats or something. Maybe I want to get like a salad or something, just have it delivered. It's probably just easier to do that. Um, but yeah, have this ready to go for the streams. Of course, what would food be good for without drinks? So we have lots, and lots and lots of drinks. Uh, so we have two types of drinks here. And of course, we have water. I have one, two, three, four, five jugs of water, plus one that's already in the cooler, uh, ready to go. It's like almost finished. We got to re replace that in a sec. But yeah, we got five jugs here. Uh, we do have a full refrigerator open here, full of, this is literally just a drink only refrigerator. So we got two types of drinks here. The first one is uh, green tea. This is labelless. So typically in Japan, when you have drinks, you have to de-label the drink before you recycle them. So this just saves time. Don't have to go through the one and a half second process of removing the label before I throw the drinks away. And then this is oolong tea. So. Um, I actually prefer oolong tea, but I like green tea as well. Sometimes it's just a preference thing. Sometimes it's just like what you're in the mood for. A pretty similar taste, but uh, overall, we got a lot of drinks ready here. So I bought four boxes. So we have four boxes of tea, uh, which is going to have, of course, natural caffeine. So it should be helpful to uh, keep on track and energize. And of course, we have uh, just a lot of water too. So uh, definitely will not have any hydration issues throughout the streams here should be uh, pretty good. All right, and last but not least, here is my office where I tr currently record all of my videos. Uh, there we have the camera that I use. Here's my mic, it's attached to the desk, so it just stays up. Uh, we have some lights, which I typically actually turn the lights off in this room, and then I turn those lights on, so these are the only lights I typically use. This one always is like a little slanted. I don't know why it always does that. But uh, yeah, so that's that. We have the mixer over here. We have my keyboard. And then here is the PS5 that I literally just unboxed and set up today. My Wii is there, got my Yeti over there. And uh, there's my old phone that I used to record on. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much where we're gonna be recording everything and doing all the streams. There's my channel, of course. Got three monitors, big monitors. This desk is huge. Um, and here's a sneak preview of my card opening space, which I will be using soon to do uh, some card videos, which I've been promising for a very long time and I just haven't been able to get to it yet. But uh, PS5 is all set up and ready to go. And uh, yeah, this is, if I can get a bigger look here, this is the space, a lot of wires down there, don't look. There's my headphones, uh, where I do the recording for uh, everything. So this is gonna be my home. During the, the, the three days where we do streams, I'm essentially not going to leave this room a single time almost. All right, so there we go. Like I said, I will essentially be live all three of those days, the entire day. And then Friday, I'll still stream, but it'll probably be a shorter stream, probably at night my time. Uh, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday is gonna be once again, full throttle. Maybe not all day those days, but most of the day. So we're really going full, full steam ahead here. Uh, by the way, for people who still enjoy my Legends content, because that, that is still the main uh, game that I cover on the channel, uh, I do have pre-recorded one video that will be going live over the course of this entire week, not even counting new stuff we're going to be getting, so I know we're getting Daimagoku and Legends this week, probably. Uh, so I will be doing content on whatever new stuff we're going to be getting, but I do have one video per day for Legends still going to go up live on the channel. Um, I, by the way, during my streams of Sparking Zero, I will have videos, clips from the streams being edited and uploaded to the channel during the stream. So if you guys aren't, you know, maybe you're not around for some of the stream, maybe you didn't catch some stuff. The videos of like the most important fights, Goku vs. Frieza, Goku vs. Vegeta, Gohan vs. Cell, etc. I'm going to have those made into videos by somebody, uh, Very Geek is gonna be the one who's editing those videos for me while I'm streaming, and I will actually be able to publish those videos while I am streaming during the, these three days. So it's gonna be a lot. We have a lot of coordinated stuff going on here. Prepare for these streams. I, I'm, I'm good. I, I, I'm gonna have a routine down, right? We're gonna, gonna wake up like five o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go on, you know, go on a morning walk, take a shower and uh, be prepared, get energized, breakfast. We're, we're ready to go. Full day streams. I'm excited for Sparking Zero. I am taking this very seriously, and uh, I am completely ready to dedicate basically the next whole week to uh, making content on Sparking Zero, and uh, just excited to experience the game with all of you. So let me know down below what you guys think of Sparking Zero coming out in a little bit over one day from now. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
and I'll see you in the next one.